Hey, game is game with Melkor here, bringing you another Clash Royale video. So, guys, this is going to be another deck spotlight. That's right, guys, another deck spotlight. So, guys, before we go any further, can you all do me a big favor and hit that like button? Let's see if we can get to 50 likes on this video. And if you've already done so as well, guys, do me an even bigger favor and hit that subscribe button as well. So, guys, let's have a look at the cheesiest deck and the most annoying and probably pointless deck in the entire game. That's right, guys. The Royal Giant Hog Deck. Oh, you guys are going to hate me for this deck, but it's only for a bit of fun, so don't worry. So, guys, this deck consists of the Hog Rider, the Musketeer, the Zap, the Wizard, the Minions, the Fire Spirits, the Valkyrie, and the Royal Giant. So, guys, just to give you a bit of background info about this deck, I have never used the Zap spell before. That's right, guys. And I've never really used the hog all that much either. So, for some tips and tricks on this deck, just hang around till the end of the video, guys. And I'll talk you through a few tips how to play it. So, let's kick it off by having a look at a couple of replays from this deck. So, we have three replays here. A 1-0, a 3-0, and a 2-1 victory. Now, guys, like I was saying before, this deck is not the most enjoyable deck to play or to play against due to the fact it has both the hog rider and the royal giant in there but nonetheless it is relatively effective and can be fun in the right hands I must say there is some cards here that i've never really played which does include that zap spell and i've never really utilized the hog rider either so let's have a look at this first victory and see what we make of it so guys, we are taking on a level 9 in this one, but as you can see, his card levels are very similar levels to mine, if not higher in many circumstances. So as always, wish the opponent good luck, offer them thanks if they wish you, and let's kick it off. So what I'm going to do here, as our elixir builds up, I'm going to drop the Valkyrie in the back, just because I don't want to waste elixir. And he drops down the skeleton army, and then he drops down the barbarian hut, an interesting ploy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop the royal giant behind that Valkyrie. That's right, I'm going to let the Valkyrie take out those Barbarians. And then I'm going to drop my armor minions for a bit of support. Now he does have his Barbarians there. So I drop down my Zap spell. Probably a bit of a wasted attack, really. But like I said, I'm still trying to get used to using the Zap and the deck. So our Royal Giant does manage to get that tower down to 1580. And at this point, we've took very little damage to our own tower in return. So he does drop the Fire Spirit Spawner. Which I forgot the name of for a second. Well, oh my god. And then I drop my wizard down in the back. Not the best of placement, so I'm going to drop my royal giant in the front here to block the wizard. And then the royal giant is going to take out that spawn. And the wizard is going to take out those spirits as well. So we've got the wizard just to give it a bit of backup as the royal giant does his damage to that crown tower. Or the actual tower, not the crown tower, sorry. So our opponent does have the Ice Wizard and that Barbarian, but we drop our Valkyrie in front. I'm going to back that up very shortly with the Musketeer. I'm going to hold off on this Valkyrie. I'm going to drop those Fire Spirits down to support. There we go. The Musketeer and Valkyrie are going to take out that Ice Wizard before we then drop down the wizard in the back of the field before we start our push again down this side so I'm holding on my hog rider to counter down left side. so I drop down the hog rider keep the zap on standby drop down the royal giant use the zap to give my barbarian chance to take a heart the hog rider to take out a few more hits on that tower as you see I'm not playing this deck very well at this moment in time I'm going to drop down the valkyrie in the front probably could have dropped that down a bit more central but oh well so I drop down the fire spirits just to support now so this time I've got to decide which tower I want to go down I am winning the elixir race at this point so I drop down the wizard to hold up all those troops coming down that left side which the wizard will do just fine drop the royal giant in the front to take out those spawning buildings and the wizard will take out all these troops. Drop down the Valkyrie and those fire spirits in support. As you can see we're just taking down these troops ever so slowly. The Valkyrie, the wizard and the royal giant are going to go for that tower. Going to get it as down as possible. The wizard and the 
Hard Rider are going to take down that opposite tower, though, very, very quickly for an easy 1-0 victory with their opponent barely touching our own tower. So let's have a look at some of the other replays here that we have. This was another 3-0 victory here against an opponent that does have the level 1 miner in there and level 7 giant. So as you can see, our card levels aren't massively different yet again. But again, this is a level 9, so I do have that advantage, which is basically a bit of HP on all of my towers. But that's the only real advantage that I'm carrying into this battle. So as always guys, let the elixir build up. I'm going to drop the Valkyrie in the back as well, because I don't like wasting elixir. I'm not too worried about those spear goblins down the opponent's opposite side. And hopefully I'll be able to utilise that zap spell and the royal giant with the hog ride a bit more effectively. So I drop down the five spirits to take out that minion horde. There we go. Poor use of the opponent's zap spell there. So I drop my hog rider in behind the Valkyrie to push it in towards that tower. I use the zap spell, but use it quite poorly, missing the musketeer. But by this point, the Valkyrie and the hog rider get that tower down to 44 HP in its very first attack. So the wizard does some damage to that second time. He drops down the mana, so I drop down the musketeer and then take out this musketeer. As you see, these guys are going to then take out that tower on the left side, so I'm not going to be worried about that now. All I need is one hit. There we go to take that down. Currently 1-0 up. Just going to let our elixir build up before we decide what to do. So our opponent drops down his elixir collector in the back of the field. Everything's pretty much level for Devils on the Elixir. So at this point, I now drop down my Royal Giant, followed by the Royal Spines, knowing that he was going to drop down that Minion Horde. That Royal Giant does a nice, significant amount of damage to that tower, taking it down to just over 1,100. Now, our tower is down to 700, so I do use the Zap Spell to stop those spear goblins from doing any damage. I was hoping to get the minion there, but unfortunately I did miss. At this point, I'm just waiting for my elixir to build up now before I continue my attack. So opponent drops down his level 7 giant, so I drop down my musketeer in the back to support the castle, and then I drop the Valkyrie in front to hold it up slightly. The giant is going to get some hits off on this tower, but not enough to destroy it, get it down to 47 HP. At this point, I then decide to drop my royal giant down, and at this point, our opponent has decided to give up. So I drop down the fire spear spirits to help assist with the takedown and then it's just a matter of cleaning up these last buildings with a couple of musketeers, royal giant and valkyrie. Like I said guys, it wasn't necessarily an easy battle and it was against a lower level pun but as you can see the card levels were very very similar so though I did have an advantage I didn't actually have a massive advantage. So let's have a look at this last replay here. As you can see, our opponent does have a few cards lower level than ours, and it was only 2-1 victory, but he does have the tricky three Musketeers in there, which with this deck was a bit of a surprise and did provide me with a few troubles, but I was able to pull off a victory, even though just a narrow 2-1 victory. So we're just going to wait for the Elixir to build up. We don't have a really great starting hand here either, I'm afraid. So we're just going to wait to see what our opponent does first before we make our first move. So our opponent does decide to drop down the giant in the back, so because of that, I'm just going to drop down my wizard to counter it. So as soon as hit the... And as you can see, our opponent drops down his own wizard, which is only level 5. So I'll wait for that giant to actually get as close to our tower as possible before I drop down the Valkyrie to take out both that wizard and the okay. Drop down the five spirits just to assist. There we go. So then we've got the Valkyrie and the Wizard and now the Royal Giant moving up to the tower. Now the Wizard doesn't get ahead of the Royal Giant luckily and we are able to do some significant damage to this tower. Now our opponent does have his finger over those three Musketeers which he does drop just in time for us to take out that tower because we're going to use the Zap spell to hold the in place just long enough. But at this point I am a little bit concerned, so I drop down my means and then I drop down my Valkyrie on top of those three Musketeers head to take them out, so it wasn't able to do any real damage to our tower at that point, giving us a solid advantage going into the second half of this battle. Both near enough levels for Devils on Elixir. So a good start. Now our opponent does drop down that elixir collector. So because of that, I do then decide to drop down my hog rider in the back and then the royal giant in front as a distraction. So at this point, he does drop down his barbarians. So I do drop the lightning on their heads 
to try and slow it down. Now, as you can see, that Hog Rider is going to do a nice significant amount of damage to that tower, getting it down to 683. Now, opponent does have his giant and his barbarians here, leaving me in quite a predicament. So, I'm going to drop down my musket, and then I'm going to drop down the fire spirits to do some damage. But unfortunately, because of this, I'm going to basically lose this tower. I'm not too concerned, though, because we do have the opponents down to 683. And we now do have a little bit of a push going. Unfortunately, our opponent does have those three musketeers. So he drops down the mini Pekka to take out ours. And then he drops down the barbarians to take out our royal giant. Not or just in time before he takes out the tower. So he drops the giant again. Obviously, I was wasting elixir there. So I drop down my wizard spot. Unfortunately, he does have those three musketeers, which go to work on that Valkyrie. And then onto my wizard, and then they're going to start working on my tower. So I drop down my own musketeer to counter it. Now, he does get my crown tower down to 2755, and he's got our second tower down to 1580. So I drop down my royal giant to take down that tower, and then it's just a bit of a defensive play for the last 10 seconds of the battle. Again, it drops down the giant, so I just drop down my wizard to do some damage. No, he's not nothing really he can do at this point. An easy 2-1 victory against against level 9 guys who does have lower level cards in this instance. But again, another victory and a well played deck. So guys, that's the deck. It consists of the Hog Rider, the Musketeer, the Zap Spell, the Wizard, the Minions, the Fire Spirits, the Valkyrie and the Royal Giant. A very cheesy deck guys, coming in at elixir cost of 3.8. Not probably the best are most enjoyable to play against because a lot of people do not like facing the Royal Giant or the Hog Rider for that matter. And combining them together, well, end of the day, it's all for a bit of fun. So guys, a couple of tips really. Try and utilize obviously your Hog Rider and the Zap Spell. That Zap Spell is invaluable in allowing the Hog Rider to get off a few more attacks. Try and get the Valkyrie ahead of the Hog Rider because the Hog Rider will speed that Valkyrie up and that Valkyrie will act as a bit of a tank. That wizard can help on both offense and defense. And those fire spirits are fantastic at taking out those air troops that are providing issues to your royal giant. The minions are there on both offense and defense as well. Can take out air defenses and can do some significant damage to opponents, giants and royal giants if need be. So guys, that's it from me. If you like what you see, comment below, let me know. If you've got any good decks for the let me know in the description. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you gamers next time. Take...